we're almost finished with the Mets. It's only about an hour and a half before the entire show is closed. And we normally don't stop with too much in the way of fabric and bits and pieces for uh, for bags. But uh, this said, it was a the truly waterproof zipper. So we stopped with Baron Toolsman uh, to talk about this zipper. Baron, what what is it that makes this zipper truly waterproof and that will that will protect my camera if I can get it on a dry bag? Well, most uh, waterproof zippers uh, that are out in the market uh, are made with a specific kind of uh, metal chain. Uh, that kind of zipper is out since the 1950s, but uh, that zipper is quite heavy and stiff and uh, takes a lot of uh, force to open and close. So it was not really fitting for bag applications. And that's the stuff that I would have had on my dry suit from 1980, yes, right? Yes, yes, very likely, yeah. yes. So now then uh, 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 we came up with the idea to make a very flexible new type of dry zipper and uh, this is the result you see. So this has no metal parts, yeah. this is um, a plastic, basically a polyurethane compound and this zipper uh, has an internal seal which is closed and held in space Look at that. by the coupling elements surrounding it. Interesting. So, therefore, this is a very flexible zipper, quite lightweight, pretty easy to pull, and completely waterproof. Not water resistant like all the tons of zips that you can find in right. auto application. This is really water and air tight. So, we test these zippers with 500 millibar uh, each. Really? In our factory before they leave. Yes. Wow. So, um, so we, so. Uh, what I mean, obviously, you're new. This product is only is only perfected a few uh, what a few months ago, yeah. In in, in uh, early early it this took year. Us, we started to develop this uh, a little more than five years ago. Wow. And we went through many ups and downs until we finally had it in a perfected state uh, since early May this year. Wow. 2009. So who are you testing it with? Who are you? Uh, who are you? Uh, uh, what companies are? Are carrying it. What type of uses is it seeing already? Well, uh, uh, I leave out the names of the company, but I can tell right. you, it's uh, it's companies make dry diving suits of different kind, with neoprene or with fabric suits, sailing dry suits, military suits, uh, for navy and pilot dry suits, and uh, they are also involved in a lot of dry bag applications, heavy duty or lightweight. Whenever you have expensive equipment that you want to keep dry. Well, that's what I want to know. I want, where can I go buy a, a camera bag that has this in it? Well, if you, if you a camera bag, well, the best camera bags I know are made by a company in Alaska called Sagebrush. Sagebrush. Yeah, say hello to Robbie and Elaine and buy a Sagebrush dry goods camera bag. We will look into it, I'm sure. <laughs> How's that sound, baby? Great. <laughs> um, well, look, uh, 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 you know, we have a lot of sailing industry um, uh, people that, that, that read and, and check out our site, where can they go to find out more about this to see if they want to put it in their line? Well, you find information on the internet. And it's uh, uh, tiezip.com. Tiezip.com, yes. All right. And whenever you have questions coming up, uh, the website has uh, a couple of agents that work for us. They are all happy to answer your question, or you call me. Bernd, we will. We'll give you a call. Thank you. And we look forward to seeing this. Anything that makes our life a little drier is a good thing. You're welcome. All right.